Hello YouTubers, I'm Sean Lamb. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be demoing two different broadcast-worthy microphones. We got the industry standard, the EV RE20, and we're also gonna be using uh, kind of another industry standard, just an Audio-Technica BPHS1. That's kind of used more on location. Um, a little background on me, I, I do a radio show here for an FM station out of Indiana. Uh, I have a lot of fun with it, so naturally I'm into microphones and anything uh, that, that kind of projects your voice. Now, for doing this part right now, I'm using the Rode Smart Lav Plus, which for a lavalier microphone is really, really good. I'm just running it to my iPad right now. But uh, this isn't what we're here to review today. Today we're here to see these broadcast mics and just kind of maybe the quality of how they sound through the Rodecaster Pro, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite boards. Well, let's check these two microphones out and see what kind of sound we can make come out of them. Now, the first microphone we're going to check out is the EVRE20. And you can already hear right off the bat, this has that broadcast sound that you're used to. Whenever you turn on the radio, this is kind of what the voices sound like. Um, it's just got that great low end, makes your voice sound round and full and just believable. Now, it doesn't have a whole lot of noise that accompanies it. You, you might be able to hear that right now. Now, there's a noise gate built into the board, but it's not a great one by any means. Sometimes it still gets through, but here's just what it sounds like completely quiet. Pretty good. I can't complain with something like that. Uh, how it sounds kind of in use, uh, I don't know. Let's just run a little bed here and try something. Now is your chance to score those Sam Hunt tickets for the Southside 2020 Summer Tour. He's going to be bringing Kip Moore and Travis Denning when he comes into Riverbend. And your chance to win tickets is now. So, I mean, it's got that realistic feel. I mean, it feels all right. But uh, if you're wanting a good podcast mic, you're not going to go wrong with an RE20. But you got to start thinking, this is a $449 microphone. It was 40 bucks for the windscreen. And if you want the shock mount or the cage that comes with it, that's another 100 bucks. So you're almost to like $600 worth of microphone. That's insane. That's insane for like an at-home, uh, just a fun project. But with this other microphone I'm going to show you, it's got the headphones already attached. It's $199, and I think for what you pay, you're getting a pretty good sound. But we'll let you be the judge of that. Let's fire it up real quick. And now with the same gain settings and the same mixer settings in here, just so you can hear a difference, I've got this running through still, the Rodecaster Pro. And I think it sounds pretty good for what it is. Uh, let's see. The, the headphones sound great for speech. You know, I don't know what they would sound like if you're trying to run music with them. But as far as a quick mobile on the go, I don't know. Maybe if you're trying to do like a mobile podcast or something like this, this is a great solution. You've got the uh, XLR in the quarter inch ready for your headphones and your mic. It's all kind of set up together in a, in a singular package. I think as far as the tone of this thing, I think it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and listen to the noise floor like we did with the uh, EVRE20. I think that sounds pretty quiet, and I know that this thing has a built-in noise gate, but again, it's not very strong, and it doesn't always pick up uh, all those unwanted noises that you have in the background, so I think this is great. I don't know. this Now, this isn't a, a, a typical thing you would do with this, but let's go ahead and throw that same bed behind it, kind of do the same spiel, and uh, see if we can kind of get close to that same quality. It is the Sam Hunt Southside Summer Tour 2020, and we have got your chance to win tickets with Say It Ain't Sam. We're going to be playing some popular lines from Sam Hunt songs, and you've got to tell us if that is Sam or if that is not a Sam Hunt song. He's going to be bringing Kip Moore and Travis Denning when he rolls into Riverbend, and we want to make sure you are one of many in attendance for that show. So there's me just kind of talking nonsense over a bed. I think it sounds pretty good. Would I use this on the air uh, for my regular in the studio morning mic? Probably not. I mean, it's it's pretty handy uh, in the fact that everything's just kind of in an all-in-one package. But uh, this is more something I would use maybe if I had to call a basketball game. Or maybe I'm doing a remote somewhere where it's kind of noisy and I need the headphones too. Uh, but but for $199, you're certainly not doing yourself a disservice as far as a broadcast quality microphone. Again, 
That's just my humble opinion. I really hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, go ahead, like, subscribe, leave me some comments. If you have any questions, I love answering your guys' questions. So make sure, don't be afraid, hit me up anytime, and we'll see you on the next one.